So that one though back there, just so you know, it's a very curvy roof. This one? 16. Oh, okay. So it's going to hurt more. So, no, <laughs> it's not. It's just going to take a couple extra minutes. Okay. Okay, deep breath in. Okay. Okay, so this is a patient who has tooth number 16 that needs to be extracted. Number 16 is what we call a wisdom tooth. And wisdom teeth are not very smart, dental joke but actually they cause lots of problems. I was on the phone with my oral surgeon today and we were talking about how we wish everyone would just take them out when they're teenagers because it makes for a lot easier surgery and a lot less complications as you get older. I personally only had one wisdom tooth taken out and I have another one that's in there that is now dangerous to take out because it's wrapped around the nerve. So I'm no longer a candidate to remove that wisdom tooth and that could create complications. In this case, this is a very simple extraction of the wisdom tooth, although there was a curved root, so there was a chance we would have to do a surgical extraction. And all we did was numb the patient with local anesthesia, and then we elevated and luxated the tooth. That means that we put pressure on it to expand the bone. The whole procedure took, I think, less than one minute and then we drew blood and we placed PRF. Uh, Dr. Leon, do you, can you explain to us what the PRF is? PRF uh, is we use the patient's own um, blood cells and, and clot factors to help them heal better. And when we put it in an extraction site, we, we prevent complications of the healing procedure. So some complications that you can have from a wisdom tooth extraction, one very common one is a dry socket. And that's when the blood clot is dislodged from the socket. So for example, if the patient spits and the blood clot comes out, that could cause the dry socket if they smoke or if they do any kind of suction action, uh, for example, drinking through a straw. And so that's really important part of the post-operative care is not to do any of those things that can dislodge the clot. It could be the natural clot or it can be the growth factors that Dr. Leon is explaining about.